Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today we come together for the Creative Lab, together with the Hikal Group from Jerusalem and the Group from Germany. This is our second time with the Creative Lab, Awakening the Souls of Our Nations. And before we start, I invite us to bring our circle together, sharing our names and our locations where we're joining from. And Helen will then will lead us in the alignment. So my name is Alexander and I am joining from Brooklyn, New York. And I invite our panelists to sh share their names and their locations. And later Uta will call the names of all attendees by alphabetical order as they appear in the list. Hello, I'm Helen Kerem from Jerusalem. Hi, I'm Fran from the Hecha Group in Jerusalem. Hello, Hello. I am Uta from Germany. Hello, I'm Grete from Denmark. Hello, I'm Annette from Germany, Dunik. Okay, so let us now, uh, each one of us, uh, say our name and our nation to, as a beginning of uh, sounding our heart note, beginning with Alex. Alex, mic for some reason not activated. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome Alex from London. Now, Anne. Welcome Anne from Canada. And Birgitte. Hello. Birgitte Helene Rasmussen from Denmark. And Carsten Jensen. Yeah, hello, Carsten Damke Jensen from Germany, Heisley in Germany. And Catherine. Hello, this is Catherine Pair from Sydney, Australia. Christine. Hello, world. This is Christine in Michigan. And Claire. Hello, this is Claire from Dunedin, New Zealand. And Dasha. Hello, this is Dasha from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. And Daniel. Daniel. Wow. Welcome, Daniel. Darcy. Hello, everyone. This is Darcy from Washington, D.C. area in USA. Diane. Oh, sorry, I couldn't unmute. This is Diane from Portland, Oregon, USA. Dot. 
Yes, this is Dot in the Northeast USA. Ilana. Hello, everyone. This is Irana from Toronto, Canada. Fred. Welcome, Fred. Frida. Uh, this is Frida Kemp from Georgian Bay, Ontario, Canada. Frederic. Hello, Frederic. Welcome. Yes, yes, I'm here. No, you couldn't hear me. I'm Frederic from Tokyo. Good night. Oh, okay. Now we heard you. Julian. Hello, this is Julian from Norfolk, UK. Joanna. Thank you. This is Joanna from Asheville, North Carolina, USA. Glad to be here. Jocelyn. This is uh, Jocelyn Traub from Toronto, Canada. John. Welcome, John. Karen. This is Karen Gritska from Portland, Oregon, US. Kirsten. Welcome, Kirsten. Good. Welcome, Kit. Hello, all. This is Kit from. Washington, D.C., the capital of the USA. Glad to be here. <laughs> Lihi. Hello, I'm Lihi from Israel, and uh, I'm so touched to hear all the places around the globe that we are all together. It's uh, fill my heart with joy. Thank you. Lynn Roselli. Welcome, Lynn. Lynn Muguya. Welcome, Lynn. Margo. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, this is Margot Rush from Victoria, BC, Canada. Maria Christina, Don Adieu. Maria Christina, Don Adieu. Southwest, USA, and yes, such a joy to see this worldwide conspiracy. Oh. Maria Cristina Amaral. Hello, friends. Here's Maria Cristina from Brazil. Martha. Hi, everyone. Martha Gallahue from Weehawken, New Jersey, in the US. Marcia. Hello. This is Marcia D'Alexandris from Italy. Michael. Hello, Michael from the Western United States, currently in Canada. And it's really awesome to see all these familiar names. 
Thank you. Pat. Uh, hello, I'm, I'm Pat and I'm from BC, Canada, Victoria. And it's wonderful to hear everyone's contribution. Rebecca Frith. Welcome, Rebecca. Rebecca Hood. Hello, it's Rebecca Hood um, in the same area of the world as Rebecca Frith. Um, we're on the east coast of Australia in Queensland. Very cool. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Um, this is Reiko Nakanishi from Tokyo, Japan. Thank you. Rosita. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. I'm in Sussex in England. Happy to be here. Roswitha. Welcome, Roswitha. Shirley. Good morning. This is Shirley from Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. Silvana. Blessings, everybody. It's Silvana from Melbourne, Australia. Tara. Tara Stewart from Walpole, New Hampshire. Tina. Hello, this is Tina Hutchings from Colorado, USA. And Virginia. Hello, it's Virginia Bennett. I'm in Victoria, BC, Canada. Welcome everybody, thank you. Over to you, Helen. Thank you. Welcome, friends, from so many parts of the planet. It's so uplifting to meet. Uh, we are going to uh, do a, a small alignment in preparation for this evening's gathering a gathering overlighted by the energies of the Virgo full moon, quite an energy. So let us begin by entering our, our quiet place and consciously follow our breath in out the basic cycle of life um, we are souls in incarnation souls in incarnation fully present We reach out to each other in this gathering, heart to heart, weaving the sacred tapestry of the group heart. Let's feel, let's feel the heart flow among us for a while. Who 
we reach to each other mind to mind through telepathic clear mind waves synchronizing into the group mind we are a group and as a group we link with our fellow workers around the world a planetary connective web in service. We are a group. And as a group, we link with our guides and co-workers on the ashramic realm. Tuning in our group heart with the planetary heart center. And as a group, together with our co-workers, we open up our sensitized antenna to the high energies of Shambhala, the center where the will of God is known, tapping into this part of the divine plan that is intended to us. We take about one silent aligned minute in unison. And we gently recollect ourselves in our group field. Feeling this group being part of the new group of world servers. In gratitude and joyful service. Thank you for coming together. Okay, thank you, Helen. So, as we everybody on this planet is aware if the world is rising the tension is rising and as we are aware as spiritual people our task it is to stand consciously in this tension the tension between the awakening humanity and the new 
Here in this creative lab, we will focus on one aspect of it, which is the work with the nations. So here it is about holding the wider picture of what, what is going on in the world and in our nation. And at the same time to open ourselves to the higher consciousness, the higher potential and function of our nation and to act as a bridge between the soul, the soul of our nation and its outer expression. This is a tall order, but it starts with small steps that we can do. And that's what this lab is all about. Uh, we want to focus here on practical steps on how to do the subjective work for our nations. Um, it's experimental. That's why it is called a lab, creative lab. And uh, we want to break down the components of this experimental work into a sequence, sequence of steps that can be followed. So the first, the starting point is the group as the basic working unit, as the tool for contacting the consciousness of a nation. And the quality of that contact depends on the quality of the group instrument. So therefore it is, uh, it is very important to, to apply great care to the building of our group instrument. Um, in our work in Jerusalem and also in Germany, we have adopted the tools of Asagioli's psychosynthesis. And it, um, it serves us as a map of the basic building blocks that we must consider. And I want to now take a few minutes to briefly outline this model. Perhaps it can be helpful as a starting for others. So Sasha, please, can you put the personal egg on the screen? This one, yes. Um, this is an adaptation of uh, Asagioli's famous egg diagram. And it's a map of an individual. There are the three parts, the lower, the middle, and the, the, the higher parts of this egg, which are, um, can be seen as the lower conscious, the conscious, and the higher conscious. Of, uh, of a person, and it can also be seen as the physical, emotional, and mental part of the personality. Um, the lower circle, there are two small circles in the, in the, in the egg. The lower circle uh, wants to signify um, the assemblage point of our everyday consciousness that is somewhere in the astral plane uh, often and for most of uh, for the average humanity and the higher circle was the point in the middle is the place that signifies the ajna the place in us that uh, when we can hold it in our consciousness it makes us into a integrated personality. It's the place where the physical, emotional, and mental aspects of ourselves become one unit. And when that happens, then the soul, which is symbolized by that star above the, the egg, little star, when the soul can make contact with the personality. And when that happens, when the soul makes contact with the personality, this is the state of consciousness that Asajoli calls the conscious self. And we are probably all familiar with that. 
uh, the same uh, uh, model can also be used for a group. Now, Sasha, please put the, the next slide on, the group aid. Here we can see a number of people being aligned with each other and around a center. This diagram is from the community of living ethics, um, putting the psychosynthesis uh, principles, um, adapting them for group for group. So when people who are aligned with their own soul and aligned with each other and around a common purpose, a soul purpose, um, that activates the group soul. When the group soul is there, then the individual soul comes into resonance with that group soul. And when these soul aware people join under a common purpose, then this group soul is activated. And then this group soul can come into resonance with the soul of a nation, a collective soul, in our case, the soul of a nation. Uh, as Jolie calls such groups who do this work, uh, groups of best citizens. And such a group becomes part of the conscious self of a nation. I want to share here a quote from Asajoli, who brings all this a bit more into context. The self-aware part of the national personality is represented by those who seek to awaken and develop the true consciousness of the nation, to interpret its past and point the way to its future development. The basic qualification of which all others are the outcome is the attainment by the individual of a certain degree of spiritual psychosynthesis. The man or woman must be to some extent under the influence, the direction and the inspiration of his or her soul. The experience, the insight and the skill in action acquired in tackling their individual problems in the light of their souls will enable them to vision, understand and help to solve in a similar way all group problems and particularly also those of the national entity, which are much of the same nature, only on a larger scale. So when such trained people learn to work together as a coherent group in harmony, there is a synergy effect. We can say that the greater the maturity of the group members and the greater the coherence of the group, the deeper the group can dare to penetrate into these deep uh, areas in this uncharted territory of a collective psyche. And the higher it can reach into the realm of a national soul. Okay, so how do we start? First of all, like always, we're setting an intention. The moment we set an intention, the magic begins. So we, we would like now to share with you two exper uh, experiences, two examples of how a group of best citizens has been started. So I invite Annette. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yes, um, 
Um, as an example of the many different ways in which such a work can be started, I would like to briefly report on the beginning on the, of the German Klangschale. At a special moment within a group work on the 4th ray, the clear idea arose in me that a group should be founded to support the soul of Germany and also the increasing inflow of the fourth ray because Germany has a fourth ray soul. It was immediately clear to me which second person I wanted to ask for this. After we were two, we felt and thought together deeply about who the third person could be. And then after deciding together, when the first three of us had found each other, we thought about when and where do we want to start this, or when we, do we want to set the starting point for our work. One of us lives in Munich, which is the art center of Germany. So we decided to spend a weekend there together to start our work. Because we also deal with astrology, we also asked astrology for the exact point in time to start. We did this with considerations like which ascendant could be particularly useful for working for the church? Mm, Annette? Annette, we cannot hear you at the moment. Maybe we can just wait for a minute. Seems like Annette is reconnecting. We all had already experience in working with the seven rays in group formation. So we uh, included Annette, Annette, our... Annette, yeah. Sorry, Annette, I apologize for interrupting you. The, your sound disappeared for about uh, 40 seconds, so we could not hear you. Uh, ah, okay. So um, I can repeat a little bit? From the moment that, uh, that you uh, met in Munich. Ah, okay. Um, yes, thank I think about... Thank you so much for, for saying me. Um, Yes, also because one of us lives in Munich, we decided to meet there because, um, as the Tibetan says, it's the heart center of Germany. Um, and um, um, we stayed there for a weekend together. And because we also deal with astrology, we also asked astrology for the exact point in time to start. Um, we did this with considerations like which ascendant could be particularly useful for working for the German soul. Um, during this first weekend together, we were able to create a harmonious group field with communication on all levels and with joint meditations. And um, this is and, um, a very good basis for our further work. We also have formulated our group purpose we developed a simple meditation scheme on which we continue to build on and we asked for the cooperation of the Devic realm. We all had already experience in working with the seven rays in group formation. So we included it in our work from the beginning. Meanwhile, our group has grown from three to six members. And since we all live far apart, we meet online at least every 14 days. However, we feel that a physical meeting from time to time is good and important for us. So this was a first report from the beginning of a 
still young national soul group, which many others and of different kinds can certainly follow in the future. So I pass on with a lot of gratitude. Thank you, Annette. Passing on to Grete. Yes, thank you. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Good. Uh, I am a part of the German uh, Klangschale and was uh, participating in Munich. Uh, and now uh, I, I'm a member of the group uh, where we are, are working with best citizens. And uh, we are so happy to start this uh, work here together with all of you. After the first uh, webinar of the uh, best citizens, the next day I was contacted by Birgitte uh, Rasmussen here from Denmark. I forgot to say I'm a De I'm, uh, I live in Denmark. And we decided uh, to start the two of us because it was so important to get started here. And we planned uh, for the first meeting. Until then, until then, Kirsten Bisco uh, from Denmark, they are both present here tonight, uh, joined us so we could build a triangle. Each of us took a ray function as we did in, in, uh, in the German star. Uh, our first work, we haven't met physically yet because the distance is uh, rather, uh, in our small country, it is a rather big. <laughs> so our first work was to translate into Danish the meditation from the first uh, webinar. And then later on, we will develop our own meditation for Denmark. And uh, as we are in a commonwealth with Greenland and the Fair, Fair, Fair Örne, uh, we have to, it will be very special to see what is, will go on here. On uh, Thursday, we will ha have our first uh, meditation together and look at the chart for our soul uh, of Denmark. So we are working with the uh, astrology as well here. Mm. And we, have, we are going to look for a name, the, a perp, the, our purpose. So we have a lot to work on with joy and great expectations. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Greta. Wonderful to hear the new developments. Yes. So out of our uh, experience, it is good to to aim for starting with a with a small group, ideally with a triangle, because it's uh, it holds it provides the basic flow of energy. It's a, a stable first base. And also it is easier for the beginning to harmonize the energies of a small group than of a larger group and of a more diverse group. Although afterwards it will become uh, important that the group will also have diverse people, not, yeah, this diversity is also important. Um, but of course, sometimes it happens that uh, uh, more than that, um, the bigger group suddenly comes about and that has its advantages too, of course. But no matter how, how many people start, uh, the more we invest in building a group coherence, the further and the quicker will we advance with the work. Because this is a subjective work, a subtle work, and the group field really conditions all. Yeah, so it is very helpful and it saves a lot of time also and energy to have a model. So
So the psychosynthesis model has served us well, both in the Jerusalem group and in the Klangschale group of Germany. Uh, there are, of course, uh, other models in the esoteric community for creating efficient group field, uh, doing spiritual group work. And it has been mentioned already, the, the seven rays in group formation. Um, uh, to, use, to use the seven rays consciously as a group is uh, very powerful and very stabilizing. And uh, we may get into it at a later point in another meeting. Um, for now, uh, for us, it is very important that our precious time together once a month, uh, that we will do as much as possible um, meditative experience and not so much talking. Uh, if anyone is interested to know more about this, this, this model, psychosynthesis or anything else, uh, especially if you're interested to start a new group, please let us know and uh, we will be very happy to give you more information and answer any questions. And we are also working, uh, thinking about building a platform for collecting uh, information, and making it available. Alexander will say a few more words about this afterwards. Um, so for today, let us uh, get ready for a meditation now. And it's an outline uh, that is based on the outline of last time. And it will build on it. It has more of a detailed focus on the group experience, so the group of best citizens doing this work. And uh, so if you already are part of a group, this is a good opportunity to observe more closely what's going on in the group field and perhaps uh, experiment with knitting it more precisely, this group fabric. And if you don't have a group yet, it's a good opportunity, we hope, to visualize and sense the quality of your ideal group, of how it feels to have such a group, maybe to ignite a first fire of intention, a magnet to which others may be attracted. And um, after the meditation, we will have time to share our impressions.